What's up, everybody? I am Sniggenhoff, and we are back playing Congo today. And fun fact, I've actually been to Africa. Right around over here once, and down over here once. If you can tell me what countries I'm pointing at, modern-day countries, that'd be interesting. Anyways, in the last episode, we, we'd we finished conquering... We'd, we'd already taken Moravi. I think we're just going, kind of colonizing, waiting for the truth with... Truth? Waiting for the truth... Waiting for the truth with Tumbuka to end. And also waiting for Moravi to fabricate claims out here, which they fabricated one on Makua. So maybe it's time to go after Makua. They have no allies, but they do have their independence guaranteed by Mutapa. But am I really scared by Muta really scared of Mutapa? Probably not, in all honesty. And I'm waiting to choose this idea until the age flips over to make sure I choose the right one, possibly. So that's everything that's going on with me. How are you? Uh, I can train one more troop, which would probably be good. And let's go ahead and unpause. So I would fight Makua and Mutapa. How much m armies do they have? Uh, Makua has 3,000. Mutapa has 11,000 and no manpower. Yeah, we could take them pretty easily, honestly. Even with just our 15k over here. I'm going to go ahead and raise maintenance. We're losing a little bit of money because we're doing co two colonies right now. But that's fine. We've got a bunch in the bank. Do I have a general right now? I do. Four fire general. And I did just already do my stuff with the estates. Yes, yes. Can I pay the clergy to be happy? No. Not for another 11 years. And by 11, I mean 9. 15, 16, 16, 15, 15. They are on tech 8. Mutapa is on tech 7. And we should be on tech 8. We're on tech 7, but we're about to hit tech 8. Okay. You go ahead and stop being idle. I wonder if I wonder how much how much land we could take off Mutapa as well. I wish Muravi Mara, had some claims down here, but they don't yet. But I kind of like jumping on this before Mutapa's uh, manpower recovers. Plus, we got another seven k from Rwanda. Rwanda's really pu pumping out troops now. That's great. Um. Mutapa doesn't have any allies, do they? They do not. I'm going to co-belligerent Mutapa. For sure. So I can take their land at the same amount of cost. Let's go ahead and hop in there. Let's just go fight this 5k real quick. Oh, they're running away though. Um, and I want to tell my subjects to focus on sieges. And I'll go around and deal with the armies. Oh, they're coming up to me. Interesting. That's fine, honestly. Where are their forts at? Just this one and this one? Ugh. But I have no devastation up there, and they're all prosperous. Try and knock him out of the war really quick. Uh, let's go up here. Sweet, we finished the colony. And since I'm not going to be able to get another one done before this is, I'm going to hold off on like the double colonies for now. Also, I'm not sure I got the 111 out of here. I was going to look at that, but I'm pretty sure this base manpower was still two. 
Maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, let's go deal with all these jerks. Rwanda, since you're already down here, go siege down that fort. No, I do not want to make peace with you. Definitely want to take that. Alright, now we're going to catch him. Are we seriously not going to catch him? Freaking jeez, man. Okay. The oneness of God. We have met people who devote their lives to worship the one true God they call Allah. They live by the decree given to them by the prophets, the greatest of which went by the name Muhammad. We've been told that... <coughs> <coughs> We've been told that to be a servant of God, one must adhere to the five pillars. Faith, prayer, charity, fasting, pil pilgrimage to Mecca. And pilgrimage to Mecca. They have shared with us a scripture, the Quran, which apparently holds the final and altered revelation of God. We should take... Well, we will have a closer look at this. So we have a new cult we can uh, do. Adhere to. And you guys come up here and deal with that army. 26 months. Why are they just allowed... Well, this is just a capital fort, so they are just allowed to march around that. <sighs> production research flawed. The new techniques in our production are rumored to be flawed, and, and several leading nobles argue that we should discard them and go back to the old and tried methods instead. <coughs> <coughs> lose 50 admin or 10 prestige. I'm going to ignore them and lose just 10 prestige. Also, they don't have enough men to do this siege... So I'm going to tell, hopefully they'll just stay there as well, so that siege can finish up. Try to chase down this army that's running around in my land. We might be catching them. Looks like we caught them. And stack wipe. They're sieging that down. Definitely want to unsiege Luba. So yeah, they don't have prosperity anymore. I'll have to get my I'll have to get my stability up to plus one again for those to be prosperous again. It's annoying. How much can I take in this peace deal though? Um Oh yeah, I want to transfer all this to... I want to transfer at least this to Moravi. I'll transfer the rest of it as well. <coughs> I may be making Moravi a little big, but I think it's going to be okay. I think I'm going to have to integrate Moravi, whereas like Rwanda has nowhere else to expand to, so I'm not really worried about them. I'm just going to let them chill for a while, and I can just like just let them sit as a vassal for forever. But I think we have to integrate these guys, just so I don't have a gigantic vassal that I'm feeding all the way up the coast. That doesn't seem great. Um, now let me see about peace deals. That's 86 right there. If we were to negotiate straight with Mutapa. We also make sure I don't I have to make sure I don't give too much overextension to uh to these guys. The question of rights. A subject of ours holds, currently holds lands to which we have a claim. If we were to claim this province for ourselves, they would undoubtedly, undoubtedly regard us with contempt and distrust. On the other hand, 
they would be in no position to stop us from taking control of the area if we would wish to do so. We can either take the province, <coughs> renounce the claim in the core, or the situation works for us. We'll just renounce it for now. I think that's fine. You guys going anywhere? Or are you just chilling right here? It looks like you're just chilling right there. When is our truce with you up? 1513? Four more years? No, I don't want your peace offer. I can get Viceroys for global tariffs, but I don't think I need that right now. I think I want to get at least like one more Diplotech before I start doing that. I would love it if I had like a much better leader right now. Also, you guys don't need to be here. You can be off doing other things. Come to here, then come to here, and then go to here. And I'll leave the 16k here to make sure we keep this 5.3k in check. Fifteen months. Do we go into a new age? Take technology. Admin Tech 7 seems great. We get more states, which is also great. No, I do not want your peace deal. Your peace deal is silly. <clears throat> now Mutapa wants out. Now that is a bit bit of a different story. But I think I do want to full Occupy and see if I can just take the whole darn thing. Probably not, but I want to see. And of course they've got rebels that we'll have to go deal with. But I'd kind of like my vassals to deal with that. At least get there first. Transfer. Transfer. Did they lose that fight? Kind of looks like it. Transfer. What kind of general do they have? They have a four shock general. What the heck is this? F that noise. We can't take this. So we'll just take the innards. We can take that. Um. Yeah, we'll take that. You guys get out of there. <coughs> okay. In incorporate Moravi. That is actually something I would like to do. Let me see if I am close to being able to do that. 1512. We're two years away, so we'll hold off on taking that mission. We will also bring our army maintenance down. Do I want to go ahead and do another colony? I kind of do, in all honesty. Kilwa shouldn't have any cores around here, should they? Yeah, get out of these lands. Grant export licenses. When the crown could not or would not pay cash to the nobles, they would instead grant them privileges to collect special revenues from which they could make a healthy profit. Profit. Um, extra tax modifiers, they gain loyalty, and the merchant guilds lose loyalty. That's fine. 
we can gain 10 legitimacy that I don't need. Yeah, we'll just take this. And the Age of Reformation spawns. All right. From east to west, this is the age of religious con conviction, debates, and mass movements. In, European, in Europe, Protestantism is entrenched while mille millen millennialism blah, 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 takes hold of Iran and religious syncretism shapes Indian society, enables the religious conflicts. Okay. Uh, I know I've seen this before, but I can't quite remember. So we can either uh, change state to religion to Protestant or Reformed. We're not doing that. Fully embrace humanist or religious idea group. We may do that. Convert at least 10 provinces to your faith. Uh, that may not happen for a while. Have s several colonial nations as subjects. That probably won't happen as. That probably won't happen for a while as well. Convert another nation. I don't think there's any nations around me I can convert right now. Possibly kill law in the future. Uh, gain and train bows from spices, China or silkware, and you, you own all provinces of your culture group. So we do have that one. So at least we're taking up some, and we can get prestigious. Conversions, which gives us prestige for development from missionaries. Institution spread. Institution spread in true faith provinces. That could be really good, actually. Um, powerful trade ships could also be fine. Mis mercenary discipline. We probably aren't going to be using much marks. Religious wars. War, co war score costs versus other religions. This could be really good, too, because I think this up here is uh, Sunni. Blockade impact on siege. And... Religion enforced edicts are the bonuses we can get. Yeah, this is all fetishist. There is a little bit of Sunni here. And as we continue up the coast, we will be running into Sunni. So, also, this out over here is fetishist as well until we get up to there as Sunni. Um, so, do I want to take religious or humanist ideas? is my first question and the answer is possibly religious missionaries stability cost missionary strength tolerance of the true faith yearly prestige missionary strength versus heretics and deus vault <coughs> and deus vault could be really good because again i we're almost out of just fetishist so almost everybody else we'll be fighting is another religion or humanist tolerance Extra religious unity, lower national unrest, raised tolerance of heretics, lowered years of separatism, which is really nice, extra parented cultures, which could be fine, improved relations and tolerance of heathens, plus uh, cheaper idea costs in the future, which could be really nice. This gives me culture conversion costs. Do I want to go for humanist? I'm kind of tempted. Religious could be really good as well. Like, we we have almost all the fetishist land down over here. And there's only so much fetishist land over here. And then the rest of it up here is Sunni and Coptic. And possibly Christian as we get up into here. I'm kind of tempted to go religious. Do you have to finish the idea group to get the bonus? Fully embrace. Okay. And it would allow us to convert these provinces a lot faster. I also like the idea cost of hum humanists. This would allow us not to have to get... I'm going to go religious. Doing it. Making the decision. Am I still focusing admin? I am. That's great. I wish I had somebody who had more admin power, but you make do with what you got. All right, good. They're over into Mutapa. I, uh, I'm fully... Uh, yeah, they're at plus 200, so I can start incorporating them as soon as I get enough time. 15, 13, two years away from that as well. And then I wanted to decide if I needed to... Or wanted to. Did they, are we going to lose this fight? Yes. Yes, we are. Well, poop. Thankfully, we killed enough of them to where we don't have to... Uh, just go all the way up.
to where they, they can't damage the province at the moment. I think I am going to... Well, he's almost done. I'm going to go ahead and pull him back. And... I'm tempted to start to do like a colony here. So I can start conquering up into here. Didn't I pull this colonist back? Maybe he can't leave while it's under siege. Strength of faith. In matters of faith, we are second to none. Our support for our religion and the devo devotion we so show impresses people around us. Ten prestige and clergy estate gains ten loyalty. Sweet action. Uh, go ahead and lower it to about there this time. You finished, which is great. We can take global tariffs, or do I still want to wait for... I think I'm going to wait for at least tech 7. You can explore, which I would love for you to do. Western Indian Ocean. I can make this into a state, which I would like to do as well. Angola. How much is that? Just 50 and 45? Ugh. What's the other province in that state? This one. So I should probably send a colonist down over there. But I think I want to send a colonist up here first. I think I'm actually going to do two colonies again. I've got tons and tons of money. I'm still paying for a plus two guy here, right? Yeah. And I can have this dude off doing other stuff. Probably, actually, you know what it's going to be, is he's going to be incorporating these guys. But for now, we can build up a spy network on Kilwa. And we're going to go ahead and call it an episode right there. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit that like button down below, as well as subscribe to the channel. <coughs> <clears throat> uh, and leave me a comment. Do you think going after the religious or humanist ideas here is worth it? I think it is. I think it's fine. Anyways, thank you guys so much for joining me, and I will see you next time.